To get started in Google Classroom, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you are using a school domain. You, so you can see over here at the side that I am logged into my school domain right there. And then just go into classroom.google.com. All right, now this happens every now and then to me. So whenever you get in there, double check and make sure that it still has your school domain right there. If it doesn't, you'll want to switch your accounts just right back in there. And then you want to tell it, I am a teacher. Okay, so I'm going to click I am a teacher. Even if you are a teacher that is using Google Classroom as a student, always switch, always click, I am a teacher. And so here we are. The first thing I'm going to do is create my first class. So if I were a teacher joining a class as a student, I would click here and then use the join code, but I am creating a class today. And I am just going to call this one group one. And then my section is going to be one. So if I were creating this for students, I might call this first hour geometry or second hour algebra or whatever that might be. Click create. And then here we go. This is my class now. It's called group one. It has me as a teacher. And then I'm going to close that for just a moment. And then it has my basic information here. The stream is going to be like a news feed and assignment feed. My students are going to be listed right here. And I am going to either invite students into the class by clicking invite and then searching for students. I can search by group or by giving them this code so that way they can join. Depends on how many kids you have. It depends on their age, honestly, as well. And then the about. This is where I like to put resources. So let's say that there are links that my kids need throughout the entire school year, tutorials, um, places for them to go, whatever it might be. I keep those in my resources under about. And then I can also invite a co-teacher right here. So let's say that I am doing a um, a co-teaching assignment with teachers that have special ed students that are in my class and so on. I can invite them here. And then I can also select my theme or upload a photo. For right now, I'm just going to click select theme. And then I'm going to choose some of these that are preloaded by Google. And I'll just choose this one for now. Click select class theme and it changes that. The things that will not change are the stream, the students, and the about. All of the things that are in here obviously will change as I'm adding to it. And then over here at the side, this is going to have all of the classes that I teach or that I am a part of. Okay, so right here it says teaching. If I were a student in a class, then it would have those listed as well with a different header. And then all of my assignments that are out there, if I clicked on assignments, then it would have all of those listed there. The ones obviously that are called to review are ones that I've not graded yet or not looked at yet. And then reviewed are ones that have been done before. I've, I've checked them and I have given feedback to the students. The way that I get back is just by clicking over there at the on the three little lines, Google calls those the pancakes, so click on the pancakes. I can click on classes and then go in here and I'm back again, or I could have just clicked on this group. And that's it. I've created my first class and I am ready to start adding content to it.